All right, right here is a solar engine I've been working with, and we're just about to trigger. You can see it twitching if, if you count that. Um, let's I believe it triggers around three volts. I'm going to check the voltage real quick. We're at 3.03 .03 and rising. Um, and uh, maybe a couple more seconds it'll turn on here. There we go. Let's see. Let monitor the voltage here as it discharges. We're at 2.2 going down and down. What I've seen so far it drains to about 1.2 volts. So, right here, uh, like I said, it's a solar engine, and the particular type is a flashing LED solar engine. Uh, we have the flashing LED right there, uh, two capacitors with the, that the solar panel charges these up to at some voltage, um, which is determined by this resistor right here. And these, these capacitors are 2.7 10 farad capacitors and they're just wired in series. Uh, the panel is a 6 volt 30 milliamp I think panel. Um, two transistors and like I said there's a resistor and then you have your your motor and uh, basically the circuit works as this panel charges these capacitors and once these capacitors reach around 3 volts in my particular case you got enough voltage for the LED to, to blink or flash and then we'll allow current to travel through the transistors which will then in turn switch on the motor. So I'll post a schematic. Uh, very fun to work with. Uh, I plan on maybe building a, bee bo a beam bot um, which is usually the application for these solar engines. Um, recharging again is around almost two volts. So. Uh, very interesting.